Obviously a big concern right now, AI taking over more jobs. So I sat down with AI expert Dr. Patrick Dix to hear more on what companies are doing to incorporate AI and also how you can adapt to the AI takeover. Earlier this week, the CEO of Walmart said AI is going to affect everyone's job. Walmart mm -hmm. employs 1.6 million people. After reading that article, and now that it's available, that information and that statement he made to the masses, how do you think AI will directly and immediately impact the retail industry? Well, how it will impact the retail industry, different items in the store, it can send ads to your cell phone, it can send ads to your email. It is going to change the shopping experience because now those cameras in the store that have facial recognition, we have to remember a lot of people go to Walmart and all those cameras using artificial intelligence can say, I have this person's face, I know exactly what they want. And they can send you a text message now saying, do you want the same items as before? This is where they were located at. And people are gonna say, Oh, it did my shopping list for me and I didn't have to do anything. That's one way. The other way is it cuts down on labor. As we all know, companies are always trying to save money by using AI and using automation. They already have self-checkout aisles at Sam's Club's Sam's Club already. I believe if it's under $700 or so, you can just walk right out the store. To my knowledge, Walmart hasn't instituted that yet, but it's coming to say, well, if you're a frequent shopper here and you have like a badge or you have a tag or something, you could just walk right out the store. Lastly, it's going to raise their profits because they don't have to pay that many people money because they don't have many people on the payroll. You are now putting shopping in the hands of the consumer. And as we know, we have a lot of people that don't like to talk to a lot of people when they go to the store. They want to go from A to walk in, B to pick their item up, and to go. So if you can make this process streamlined, or A, you can give it to your child or to a family member, because if you give an item or you get not an item, let me rephrase that. If you give a shopping list to someone, usually they mess up. But if the AI has caught your face before and said, these are the items that such and such bought before, here you go. That's interesting to think about. If you could just walk out, I like as a consumer, I like mm -hmm. that you could just walk out. You don't have to scan anything if they already know who you are, what you need, and they can scan as you're walking yep. through the store. That definitely yep. saves time for the consumer. But what's scary uh, from a journalism standpoint, but also mm -hmm. for feeling for everyone, these 1.6 million people only at Walmart, but this could you know, be mass spread. Are we talking more looking at the bigger picture here of a story about job loss or job transformation? Do you think that these people specifically at Walmart that are going to be impacted will have the opportunity mm -hmm. to transform their jobs and learn new skills? Well, at Walmart, if you work in tire and lube, I worked in the tire and lube that basically is changing the oil when I was in college. So you can't automate that. They can't automate restocking the shelves because everything in Walmart has to be restocked. And so the people that work, there's going to be a little bit of both a transformation and people retraining. So transforming the store is making it more digital. But if you worked in a Walmart, for instance, the number of the store that I worked at in college is 514 over here in South Carolina, because the trucks would pull up and they would say, hey, I'm here for 514. So if you work at a certain number of Walmart and they put all this AI technology in it, who better to know how the technology works than the person that's been working there? So you'll go retrain to fix that technology in the store. If you been working at that Walmart for a couple of years, who better to work on it than you? Because you've been up and down the aisles, you know how the cameras are placed, you even know the blind spots, you even know where asset protection needs to be at. So that's how people need to retrain. And that's the transformation of the store. It's going more digital, but you're still going to have people that need questions asked, you're still going to need people that um, answer people's questions about where's the item, because they're always moving things around. So it is transforming it. And it is also uh, rethinking how the store experience works. But in the end, Walmart is doing what's best for the store, and that is to make more profit with less people. Mm -hmm. Yes, we see that all across the country, globally, yes. actually. Yes. And so in addition to that, we're looking at, we're talking specifically about Walmart, but as we look at the bigger picture here and we pull the curtain back, there are small business owners, there are major conglomerates. What do you think a business owner, small business to a big company like Walmart needs to do with its employees right now to prepare them mm -hmm. for AI? 
Well, the first thing they need to do is be honest with them. You know, over the last couple of years, companies were hiding that they were doing R&D, which is research and development. Every company every company now is looking for strategic advantage. Excuse me, let me rephrase that. They're looking for a strategic advantage, and that comes down to technology that comes down to getting rid of people. What I want people to understand is your company may not be telling you this. You need to be aware that they're doing this. This is why I have done the research, and I continuously talk to companies. I talk to people every day. They are trying to find a competitive angle. So if you were to tell employees this, they're going to get nervous and say, I'm going to lose my job. No, that's why I'm here to help you understand how you need to retrain, the free courses you need to take, the Coursera, the Microsoft, and the Google Essentials. And then you need to contact me to see how we can get you a more detailed plan. That will be one of the first steps I do. Take those free courses after they tell you that because either they're going to tell you or they're not going to tell you. If I was an employee, I would assume my company is going towards this. Unless you are a HVAC company, unless you're doing something to where it's very delicate, there is no way to automate it or use AI, but it can be used in those. But technology can give better um requirements and it can get better measurements, but it can't put pipe together to fix an HVAC unit. But companies are already investing in this from Walmart to your mom and pop. And let's be honest, many of the mom and pop shops are not going to be able to make it because what's going to happen, Stephanie, is they're going to talk to their um, person that ships them stuff, their supplier. The supplier is going to say, either you pay $75,000 for this AI software so we can read your system or we don't come to you. And if that's the only person that can bring a product to you, mm -hmm. you're going to go under. That that's how a lot of mom and pop places are about to go out of business. How companies make their money is what we call SIFO software license agreement. You pay the $70,000 plus a year. Just giving an Ooh. example. That may not be what it costs, but that's how they get some mom and pop shops. Like Walmart, that's chump change to them. But if you're a mom and pop shop and they tell you you got to pay that, you're like, we can't pay that. That's one month of what we make right here. Right. We can't afford to pay that. So that's how the mom and pop places are definitely going to be affected. Even if they don't think so, they're going to be affected by AI because they're going to have constraints and pressure put on them to invest in a piece of software so the people can make more money. That is that is scary. Hopefully um, people will heed the warning and take those mm -hmm. free courses.